Good morning. Uh, this is Suresh from KAT. I am very happy to meet you through this video. Today we are going to discuss about uh, the transmission and distribution course. In that specifically, I am going to talk to you about the parameters of transmission line and how to model a short transmission line using ABCD network, that is two port networks. Before going to the subject, I would like to inform you few basic things like what is phase, what is neutral, what is earth and what is ground. Basically students are having a small confusion in this. If I ask some student like um, and budding engineers, what is the difference between earth and neutral, sometimes they are in confused state. To clear that, I would like to inform you what is phase, what is neutral, what is ground and what is earth. With this simple introduction and I will just try to move into the subject. So let me take you to the next session, we will discuss about the course, okay, please be in the line. As I told now, I am going to talk to you about phase. So what is phase, what is neutral and what is ground and what is earth. So phase, when I say phase, normally phase will be drawn like this, this is phase, this is time t and this is what we call the amplitude. Phase is defined as it is a part of the time period that elapses from the zero reference point to reach the maximum and it goes in the negative direction and to reach as required. So I define once again phase is the part of the time period that elapses from the zero reference point to reach the maximum and it will be repeated. When I come to the neutrals, normally in a circuit, neutral will be the return path. Neutral will be the return path. This is phase. Phase maybe it may be R phase or Y phase or B phase. Normally we call it as A, B, C, which is international standard. And this is the neutral. This is the neutral line. And uh, this is a phase and this is a neutral line which will be connected to a particular load. Let us take this is a load. Now, if I want to define a neutral, now, neutral is the return path of the phase. Return, neutral is the return path of the phase. So, it acts as a neutral, act as a return path. Therefore, when a current passes through the circuit, it will just return through the neutral contact. Neutral will always have low resistance compared to the phase. Neutral will always have low resistance path when compared to the phase. Coming to the ground or earth, coming to the ground or earth, almost ground and earth are similar where it acts as a zero resistance path or I can say very 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 negligible minimum amount of resistance path. So earth is the zero resistance whereas neutral is a minimum resistance. So, in a, normally, earth is a third conductor in any circuit which will be connected to the part that is the outer surface of the electrical equipment or instrument. In fact, whenever there is a fault or anything goes wrong, the excess leakage amount of current, it may be minimum that excess current will pass through the air <coughs> conductor. So I can say air is a zero resistance path, zero resistance path. Almost ground is also similar to air. Normally in newer English we call it as air. Normally in written English or UK English we call it as ground. It depends upon the language but there is no difference. However, in small electronic circuits, let us take some small electronic circuits, 
where we will create ourselves a zero potential path and that zero potential path is called as ground normally in small electronic circuits we used to call it as a ground or we will make ourselves a zero resistance path which will be called as a ground earth is directly connected to the the earth is directly connected to the body of the equipment to the earth and we will be creating a zero resistance path whereas in electronic circuits we will create a small path where it will have a zero resistance and that is called ground so to put it in a nutshell phase it's a part of the time period that reaches the maximum and goes to the and go and end with the so one 360 degree let us say for example one cycle is 360 degrees neutral is the return path of the phase normally it will have minimum resistance path and ground or earth are almost similar it is having zero resistance path so this is what you should be very clear as far as this basic is concerned but for in india we have a system of single phase which is about 230 volt exactly it is 230.9 volt we used to say as 230 volt and we have a three phase system which is 440 volt system so in india we have two, two different types of generation as well as transmission and distribution system um, single phase 230 which is not there actually no generation is in single phase but generation is generally in three phase but in distribution side we have 230 volt system in transmission side we have three phase transmission as well as three phase distribution i repeat in india we have two different types of system one is called single phase one is called three phase Th single phase system is only in distribution side three phase system is in transmission and distribution side uh, our single phase voltage is 230 volt and three phase voltage is normally they will say 440 or exactly I can say 400 volts okay mm, and our Indian standard frequency is 50 hertz and our Indian standard frequency is 50 hertz this is frequency but as we have another frequency system 60 hertz but it's not practiced in India it is in some other foreign countries these are the foreign countries but we have a system voltage of 110 volts. We have a system voltage of 110 volts. So that's all I want to talk to you about the basic. In the next video, let me try to tell you why the voltages in India are in the multiples of 11. The voltages practiced, the voltage level practiced in India, the voltage level practiced in India are, are in multiples of or in multiples of 11 why this is the question already i discussed in my video about this one but i will come with this in detail in the next video thank you